Hello and welcome to part three of our Fiddle for Beginners course. In this video we're going to do two very important things. We're going to learn about the bow and we're going to learn a piece. So let's get started. Okay, so time to start using our bow. If you get your bow from the case, the first thing we're going to do is make sure the tension is correct. So um, you can see we've got our white hair here and our stick and this screw at the end of the bow um, can change how tight the hair is. So if you turn it to the left, it loosens the bow and then if you turn it to the right, it gets tighter. Um, we don't want it to be too tight because then you get added tension and it might bounce around and you might even damage the bow. So as always, being really careful you're kind of aiming for it to be um, the gap between the hair and the stick for that in the middle bit of the bow to be about the same as the stick itself. So the width of the stick you want in between the hair and the stick. Um, so that means our bow is ready to use. The other really important thing is we don't touch the hair of the bow with our fingers. Always just hold it on the wooden bit or at the end. Um, just because the same as when we first learn about our fiddle, if you get any bits of dirt or dust on the hair, it can affect the sound and make it a bit grubby. Then the next thing we need to do is hopefully in your case, you'll have some of this rosin. It might come in a little box like this or a tub um, this is really sticky, so try and touch it with a bit of cloth that should kind of be in the box with it. Um, and what this does um, is when you put it on the bow, it means that the hair of the bow will stick to the strings of your fiddle and make a sound. If you've got a brand new bow, it might have no rosin at all. So you can see all I'm doing here is getting the bow um, onto this shiny rosin and just rubbing each bit of the hair of the bow on the rosin. It might take a good five, 10 minutes of doing this if you've got a brand new bow. And what happens is if it's brand new and it's got no rosin on, it'll sort of like sound very wispy. Once you've got enough on, you can get a nice strong sound. So once we started playing with our bow, if you find you get that sort of wispy sound, it might just be that you need to put some more rosin on. Normally, you'll just need to put a little bit on. You might not even need to use it every time you play, but if you do find you're getting that sort of wispy sound, put a bit of rosin on your bow and that'll help get a nice strong sound. Okay, so now our bow is ready to use. The next thing we need to do is learn how to hold it. And there's a very special way of holding our bow, like this. Now everyone's hands are different, so yours doesn't need to look exactly like mine. But as a rough guide, what we'll do is if you hold your bow in front of yourself with your left hand on the stick, and that just means it's taking the weight of the bow and we can move this hand, our right hand, which is going to use the bow to get it in the right position. So, left hand on the stick, and our right hand is ready to try. So, um, we've got all these different parts of the bow here. We've already seen the screw, which makes our hair tight or loose. And this is the heel of the bow. This is the tip of the bow. We've got the stick and the hair. So, um, the other little bits here, we've got a, a finger pad um, and then our frog here. So our thumb, our right hand thumb is going to be bent and it's going to go underneath the stick on the frog here. So you can see that little bit there. Our thumb is going to go in there and make sure it's bent and then our first finger goes on the stick, our second finger, our third finger, and our little finger balances on the end there. Um, so that's our bow hold. 
as with our fiddle, we want it to be nice and relaxed. You don't want to be too tense, so we're not gripping it or stuck in one place. It's all really nice and soft. And a good thing you can do to practice making sure you're nice and soft and ready to play is just swing in your arms, stand somewhere where you're not going to kind of hit anything. Um, swing your arms and then we're going to bounce into place. And that's how relaxed we want to be when we're playing. So our left arm is nice and relaxed and so is our right arm, which is going to be our lovely bow holds. So let's try that again. Bow in front of you, thumb bent underneath, then your first finger, second and third and little finger on top. And these ones are just kind of curved around with the little one on top. So that's how we hold our bow. It's really good just to keep practicing that. And once you get playing, keep checking how your bow hold's getting on. Have you got a bent thumb? Have you got a curved little finger? And it takes a bit of time to get used to because our hand's not used to doing this when we first start off. So just practice and keep checking in, making sure it's as beautiful as it can be. Okay, so time to make a sound with our bow. Let's get that bow hold ready. So thumb goes underneath, then the fingers curved round, and our little finger on top. Make sure that little finger doesn't collapse and squish down. Have it balanced on top, okay? And when we pick up the fiddle, we're aiming to play in this bit, okay? So between the bridge, and the fingerboard. Not on the fingerboard, on the black bit there, and not behind the bridge, it's in between. And we're going to use this middle bit of the bow and move it along the strings to make a sound. Okay, let's try it together. You can pick whatever string you like. We're going to have a few seconds of just playing around to get that sound right in the middle of the bow. A nice straight bow. Ready? Got your bow hold? Okay, let's go for it. Any string you like. How was that? Let's try it again together. This time we're gonna aim for one string. Let's aim for the D string. And we're gonna play the D string four times. We're going to do four bows, one, two, three, four, all on the D string, trying not to catch any of the other strings. So back with our bow hold, in the middle of the bow, after four, let's try it together. One, two, three, four. sound if it's a bit too hard. If it's too soft it might sound a bit wispy or a bit bouncy so it's finding that balance in between the crunch and then the wispy sound and we're aiming for the middle of the bow and the middle between the bridge and the fingerboard 
and one string at a time. So that's a really good thing to practice on every string, doing a few bows. Now we're going to do some copycat rhythms with our bows. So exactly the same as when we've done rhythms before, I'll play something and you play it back and we'll keep swapping. So let's get ourselves ready to play. Practice your bow hold so we know what to do. Our thumb is bent underneath, our fingers on top and our little finger curved. And we'll pick up the violin, bring it to you. And you can either hold it here, where we started off, or if this new hold is still feeling nice and comfy, try it there and your bow. And we're always thinking about having that brilliant bow hold and the same with our left hand. Okay, so let's do some copycat rhythms. I'll start on the D string and then it's your turn. Here we go. Let's try the same thing on the A string this time. Have you still got your bow hold ready to go? Let's try it one string at a time. It's the A this time. I'll go first. Now let's try the E. Remember one string at a time and we're going to keep the bow in the middle between the bridge and the fingerboard. string let's try the G have you got your bow hold ready off we go So that's a really good thing to practice. Now we've got our bows going. You can re-watch that bit of the video and practice with me. Or the same as when we're plucking, you could get someone at home to clap some rhythms and you play them back with the bow this time. But we're always thinking about how we're holding it, making sure we've got that bow hold with our bent thumb, our fingers curved over and our little finger. And it all wants to be really relaxed. You're not stuck in that place. We're not glued to it. It's all as soft as it can be put in that position and our left hand can either be here or here and um, so yeah practice those copycat rhythms always aiming for one string at a time and finding that balance in between the crunchy sound and the wispy sound and just practice finding where that nice strong sound is okay so we're going to learn a tune now we're going to learn hot cross buns using open strings. So that means what we've been doing so far, open strings without any left hand fingers, that's gonna come next. So for now, we're just playing the open strings and we're gonna play the rhythm of hot cross buns. 
So the first bit, we're going to start on the D and it starts like this. Hot cross buns. Let's try that. So I'll go first and then you copy. Cool, we do that twice in a row. So we get this, I'll play first and then you go for it. Nice, let's try that together. One, two, three, four. Once more for luck. One, two, three, four. Good, so there we get hot cross buns twice. Now the song goes one a penny, two a penny. So our bow needs to go a bit quicker. Let's try one a penny on the D. Together? Off we go. Off we go. Off we go. Good. So for those shorter notes, we only need to use a smaller bit of bow. Once more on the D. Three, four. Now we're going to do the same rhythm but on the A string. One penny. I'll go first and then you copy. And my turn. Your turn. Okay, we'll put them together. We get one penny, one penny. So it's D, then A. I'll go first. Let's try it together. Ready, steady, off we go. One a penny, two a penny. Good, so up to there we have this. How do you think we're gonna finish it? cross buns on a D. So let's try the whole thing together. We get hot cross buns, hot cross buns on the D string, one a penny on the D, one a penny on the A, and then one more hot cross buns on the D. Off we go. Ready, steady, off we go. practice this time. Hot cross buns on our D and our A string. Remember you can always practice the rhythm by saying the words. And um, we're going to use the middle of the bow. We need shorter bows for the quicker notes and longer bows for the longer notes. And then we're always thinking about that bow hold, making sure it's not too tight and we're not tense. We're keeping it nice and soft with a bent thumb and a curved little finger and try and hold it here, near the pegs, but you can also hold it here. Cool, so practice hot cross buns on your open strings, practice your bow hold with some copycat rhythms, and see you next time. Well done, bye.